righty guys, uh, good Wednesday practice in shells. We got to work some more situations and really work some backed up situations as you saw there on offense and in special teams with crowd noise. You know, obviously we play in some very loud places and not only in Pac-12, but having to go to Notre Dame. And one of the things that, you know, we have to rely on both offensive and defensively is the ability to communicate when it is loud, uh, whether that's uh, visual snap counts, whether that is signals uh, in special teams. So we put a lot of emphasis into that today. Um, good practice, uh, has stayed healthy again for two days in a row, really only had one kid that we pulled with a little bit of a shoulder and that was Greg Johnson, but two really, really good days of work. Um, with that, I'll answer any questions that you have. Jack Jones, that out? Yeah, Jack, we we, uh, we held from today uh, just a little bit of an arm uh, shoulder issue. Um, I think he'll be back in two days. We're just giving it a little bit of a rest. What positional group on the defense do you see as the most competitive position of that right now? Oh, my goodness. Um, you know, right now, I would have to say, really, you've got the nose tackle position, but you're trying to establish a big man in there, and you got some really good candidates in there right now. Um, you, you're looking at the secondary, what marries up the best. Um, it, not really, you know, we feel pretty good about the ones, um, but really, who, who's going to be that two group that comes in and fills in, you know, 20, 30 snaps in a game and, and <coughs> provide some depth for us? Um, those are probably the two areas uh, you feel uh, you feel like there's the most work that needs to be done over the next week and a half. Given the amount of bodies that you have now, defensive tackle, and the nature of that position, do you envision being more rotating there? Than you yeah, you know, it's one of the things that we got to in the second half of the season is we saw us sending in waves, um, especially versus the no-huddle teams that could get into an 80, 90 play game snap count uh, a game. So it's something that we're, that we're trying to instill. Um, it's great to have even more depth. Um, Clancy is is one that once he trusts you, he'll put you in, and that's a lot. You got to go build his trust. But I feel like being in the second year of the system, he's starting to really trust some kids. Um, I, I've seen you know YK jump out and make some plays today. Um, those defensive tackles now in the second year of the system, I think are going to be good. Uh, I look at a Connor Murphy and a Wale, you know, getting in there. Christian Rector getting in there. So um, those are good bodies to have. And, and not only have they learned the system, but another year of maturity, another year of being in that strength and conditioning program, I think it's helped those kids. With Achille, do you feel like you're seeing the kid that you recruited that can move around the secondary? Yeah, I'm so happy for him right now because he's. It, there's a great example that it, it, not for everybody does it happen right off the bat. Every 18-year-old wishes you could walk in here and immediately start playing, but you know sometimes it takes a little bit. Sometimes you need a year in the weight room. Sometimes you need you know to be able to get in that playbook and understand a new system and new term, new terminology. Sometimes, like in Wake's case, he had an injury. He, you know, but now. To just keep on pushing through and keep on worrying about the things that you can control, which is becoming a better player. You look up and he's starting to make plays for us now, not only on defense but in special teams. Uh, he's got a chance to really help this football team this year. I'm very proud of him going to this third year. A lot of those guys that you mentioned, like YK and like Connor, are guys that have jumped out to, yeah. to us too. Um, mm -hmm. It seems like they have guys ahead of them that are either really good mm -hmm. or older or experienced in a lot mm -hmm. of cases, all three. Mm -hmm. Is that the dynamic that's like? Yeah, it's, it's a blue collar mentality that you know when it is your opportunity, you're ready to make the most of it. We saw it last year. You know, you saw Stephen Mitchell as a starter, but you saw Deontay Burnett out here every day, you know, practicing for his opportunity. And then it comes. We have an injury, and he's got to step into that next role. And if you're not prepared for it, then you're hurting our football team, and you're hurting your chances to, to create more opportunities. And I'm really proud of those individuals we mentioned just because they've learned from their older brother. That's what we always talk about is a, a brotherhood here, learning from your older brother, developing your skill set, and you can get your opportunity to make the most of it. What have been your impression of this I'm very pleased right now. You, you know, um, anytime that you have a second knee injury, you really, it's not a health issue, it's more a confidence in issue and, and really mentality. Um, and he's really done a nice job. Uh, he really seems confident on it. You know, he's still got the brace on right now. Um, you know, that, that will lead into probably the early part of the season and then he'll take, take that off. But I'm pleased at where he's at right now. Um, he's, he's put a lot of work in to get back, and I really wanted to see his confidence out there and his playing confidence. Where are you with the uh, place kicking right now? What, uh, are, you, uh, what are you thinking? Uh, I'm thanking God we've got about two more weeks left. So uh, <laughs> it's been off and on. It's been um, it's 
Uh, one day it's been really good, and then today there's some balls going everywhere. Um, so we've got we've got to work from an operational standpoint. Uh, there's a good competition there. Seems to go back and forth. Uh, we'll put a lot of work into it. Um, into it Saturday uh, and put them in some pressure situations in our scrimmage and, and really do it the next Saturday also to, to see exactly where we're at at the position. But uh, I'm really hoping for a lot more consistency. What are your thoughts on Tyler Bond's camp so far and how much is he helping his cause for some playing time as well? Yeah, I, I tell you, there's a kid that, that we say there's a kid that's one year in the system, that's got red shirt, that developed probably as much as anything, the weight room helped that kid maybe more than anything. He went to a very slender body. He added eight to 10 pounds of muscle. Um, and now you can see it in his game. He's already always had natural route running ability, natural catching ability, but he's now not getting pressed off the line of scrimmage. He's really using his strength in press situations to be able to not get held up on the line and, and get open. So um, a year of growth has really helped that kid and he's gonna help us this year. Have you guys narrowed down who you might use on kick returns and punt returns? Hey, you know, probably the, the three that we're really looking at right now that, that have jumped out at us is, is Jack and Bellis and Jane uh, have been probably the most consistent in the confidence of the catch and doing things after the catch. There's some more kids, some more running backs that we're looking at, like Stephen Carr has done it, Greg Johnson at corner has done it. Um, uh, we're, we're, by Malfay, we're trying to develop those kids to see if they can be an off returner and help us in the kickoff kickoff game, but those three are primarily right now have, have jumped out at us.